Welcome to the MBS Show Reviews and Discussion Podcast. I am your host, Norman Sanzo. Joining me today is Silver Quill. I have a beak and I'm proud of it. Yay! Be proud of that beak, yeah. Be proud. That's right. Don't let anyone say otherwise, like even the official movie thing. Yeah. Uh, that guy, he's got all the muscles, but he ain't got a beak. Yep. He's got a lip divot. <laughs> and also joining us is Sapphire Heart Song. Insert Top Gun reference here. <laughs> uh, well, you can always be my wingman. No, oh, Norman, you can be mine. <laughs> Let's play volleyball. <laughs> Not even the right song. Yeah, it's, a, it's, right. it's like take my breath away, isn't it? Or better, Probably. Yet, or better yet, playing, playing with the boys. <laughs> I, I was going for more of the Yu-Gi-Oh! The Abridged Series movie. Oh, oh, da, 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 <laughs> to the danger zone, you say. <laughs> God, talking about Yu-Gi-Oh! for a bit, right? I watched the new movie that came out. The Dimension something, whatever it is. Oh I yeah, I did. Dark side yeah. dimensions, and, I did too. Yeah, yeah. And I blame Yu-Gi-Oh! a bridge so much because whenever I watched it, hearing the English dub of that reminds me of a bridge. So every time when they talk, and especially Joey, yeah, I'm cycling. Yeah. I can never watch Yu-Gi-Oh! the same again. Uh, we can talk about that later, though. Uh, true, true, true. Any thoughts on it, Silver, before we head off? Oh, I never got to see it, uh, so I'm still waiting on the whenever the Blu-ray or DVD release is. Ah, so anywho, uh, let's go on to this episode, the episode we're talking about now. So, uh, with the Top Gun reference and the oddly placed Yu-Gi-Oh thing, we're going to talk about Season 6, Episode 24, Top Bolt. So, in this episode, Twilight Sparkle and Rainbow Dash are called to the Wonderbolt Academy, by the cutie map to help academies, hopefuls, sky stinger, and vapor trails with their friendship problem. So I think this is the last map episode for the season and we get to see Rainbow Dash and Twilight work together again. Uh, the last time I remember they worked together was in testing, testing one, two, three. And look how well that turned out. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Nervous breakdowns, ahoy! Oh, yeah. Uh, at least we got a cool rap out of testing, testing. Mm-hmm. But anywho, first impressions are in order, and last week I went with Silver. So, you know what? Steppy, why don't you go first? Uh, Top Bolt, I, I, bleh. I didn't watch the movie Top Gun, so if there were any references to Top Gun in Top Bolt, I didn't catch them. I'm sorry. I'm just going to say that now before Silver just dies in his grave a little bit more inside. Meh, these kids today, no appreciation of the most masculine chick flick in America. Meh. Yeah, oh god, that movie. Meh. <laughs> yeah, it's probably something my parents have seen that I haven't. Anyways, I like this episode. It, it was fun. I felt bad for Rainbow Dash, though, because... She had to go home, but then she had to go back to the Wonderbolts, and she had to go back home, then Wonderbolts. Like, I, I felt bad for Rainbow Dash for it. I, I like the Vapor Trail and Sky Stinger ship. Oh my gosh, they are so cute. Even though a Sky Stinger, I could take him or leave him. But Vapor Trail is like the best waifu ever. My god, she's just, nah. I, I love them so much that I was, Actually, no. I was commissioned to draw them, but somebody loved them so much. I I think wow. it's a really good ship. That's good. That's good. And silver. What about you, man? Na 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 shipping. Na 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 shipping. 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 Sky Trail. <laughs> <laughs> Yay. <laughs> And that's exactly what his thoughts are. Moving on. Oh, this, well, it's fun. This, I've enjoyed the map episodes more this this season than the previous. In the previous season, uh, it was usually two ponies go to have a, fix a problem, but one has the answer and the other needs to come around. Mm-hmm, this mm-hmm. one, it's more both have an idea of how to fix it. Both are wrong on their own, but it's their combined efforts that really win the day. It makes a lot more sense with the theme of friendship in this show. 
So I, I'm all for it. I did like Sky Singer Vapor Trail. Props to the Make a Wish Foundation for bringing in a, a young, hopeful voice actress. Yeah, Alexi, uh, Huel. Alexi Huel, or Lexi for short. And I, I like that even though Vapor Trail was an arrogant fool at first, he came around and became much more likable. So hope to see these two again. Sky Stringer, Sky Stringer, what? No, Sky Stinger kind of reminded me of me back in high school. <laughs> well, I wasn't as big of an arrogant prick, but I was like, I'm better than all of you. Yeah. Actually, I'm getting, I, I think I'm getting mixed up. I said Vapor Trail. It is Sky Stinger who, who's the arrogant. Yeah. Vapor Trail is the kind, sweet little filly who's actually been the best one. Bleh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Anywho. You're welcome. As for me, um, I rewatched this episode just so I could remember everything about it. It's been a while since I last watched it, but anywho, I like the characters in this one, and like you mentioned before, Silver, props to Hasbro for um, granting a make a wish for this one because Angel Wings here. Is well, if I do remember right, she was diagnosed with cancer, was it? I, I don't really remember, but still, um, she has her own Twitter. Go follow her on the Twitters, whatever it is. And her character works well with the show, and I do like that joke she did at the very beginning. Like, oh my god, um, just so you know, you told my favorite ponies in all of Equestria. I was like, <laughs> yeah. But by the end, they've been replaced. Fans are so fickle. Yeah. <laughs> And, like, honestly, like, you guys are enamored with, uh, Sky Stinger and Vapor Trails. So, it, they did a great job, I think. And, talking about Sky Stinger and Vapor Trails, these two addition to the show really works. Their characteristics, I do enjoy them. And Stinger here, or, or Sky, as you want to call him, is one of those characters that is a jerk, but he's very likable later on. I mean, he's not that full all out jerk that you are meant to hate, like um Con Main, was it? Oh Glad Main? Yeah, Glad Main. So yeah, um Stinger here um redeem himself later on, so that's really good. So anywho, um let's get on to the show. Um, if you guys have not catched this one yet, um be sure to do it before we spoil it because spoilers are ahead. And I uh, well We're in February of 2017. The show stopped around October of 2016. There's a huge gap in between. So I'm guessing you guys have already watched this. And also season 7 is just around the corner. So yeah, (laughs) a lot to catch up. Anywho, so we start off the episode with our hero, Rainbow Dash, changing in the locker room. Oh my. Bam, check a bow wow. (laughs) Yeah. But she's talking with that jerk Wonderbolt again. Uh, uh, she's like Fleetfoot. Uh, no, not Fleetfoot. Uh, I think. Well, now that we've now that we've said Vapor Trail, that's all I can think of as a <laughs> name. Let's see here. I need to look up who the how many Wonderbolts there are. But this this Wonderbolt, she's got sort of a Valley Girl haughty tone. Is the most unpleasant member of the team. Yep. I'm just like, what? When are we gonna get to see her slam into the side of a mountain or some such? You're probably already half of that realizing it. Yeah, like, uh, Tarek sucked her energy out, she got slammed by Spike, uh, yeah. Yeah, I don't think she got slammed by the Spike. Ah, uh, probably not, but I still. But anyway, I'm just saying, I don't like her. <laughs> we can tell. Meh. <laughs> yeah. Better old man. <laughs> but still, uh, we get to see Rainbow Dash packing up, just, um, you know, just quitting time, just going back to, uh, Ponyville to have her R and R, and while they're taking a break, Spitfire has to stay on campus or it's not really campus. What do they call it? Uh, um, training grounds. Yeah, they, she has to stay on training ground to teach the new recruits. And her quote is, "Meanwhile, I'm stuck here running trials week at the academy." Rainbow Dash replies, "But you love yelling and blowing your whistle." Yeah, you're right. I do. <laughs> yeah, so it's like, hmm, you really love your job. That's cool. Same time, she loves being aggressive. Well, that's what a drill instructor is meant to be. Yeah, but still, like, she she enjoys the pain and suffering of others. I like it. 
it's calculated cruelty. It's designed to make you stronger, whereas your average high school bully is there to make you feel weak. Yeah, I mean, with what Spitfire's doing here is toughening you up for the hardship of what what's to come in the future. A good example of this done in the series is with the Friends Forever issue starring Rainbow Dash and Sorin. Over there, Sorin couldn't keep up and he decides to go to the most dangerous part of Equestria to train. But yeah, with this one uh, getting back on track, Rainbow Dash enjoys and heads off to Ponyville. Along the way, her butt glows, marking that, hey, the map is uh, requesting my uh, presence. And upon reaching the Castle of Friendship, Twilight and Rainbow are sent back to the Wonderball Academies. Yay. Yay. <laughs> and, and Starlight is there. That is all. Yes. Did she, did she speak? Nope. nope. They've made a, they've made a special trick of having her participate without saying a word, thereby saving on voice actresses. Yeah. And also doing that trick on the, uh, wiki page showing that, oh, this character is on screen, but she didn't speak. <laughs> That's why we call them the business mad skills, yo. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> like, she's there, but she didn't speak. Uh, I, I do wonder, like, what, uh, what the HX or what Hasbro is going to do with her in the future. Hopefully more than the comics did. Yeah, like, uh, issue 50 was uh, woozy. We'll, we'll, we'll deal with that when it, when we cross that bridge and have two in the hand instead of before the rise of dawn. Oh yeah, that that one like oi. I I I want to time that right with uh, season seven. Like, but but still, that's besides the point. So anywho, um, with intros out of the way, we are sent to the academy where Rainbow Dash reminisce about what we can do. And oh, I do remember this place so well. And dropping down, they see the new recruits. And yeah, the new recruits are. Very interesting in shape and sizes. What is very short? I will point and laugh at him because he is shorter than I. Ha ha ha. <laughs> oh, you. But Silver, uh, you were never short. Exactly. <laughs> now I will point and laugh at Safi for she is shorter than I. Ha ha ha. <laughs> Sound like that one detective from this weird movie I saw the other night. <laughs> oh, just one? Just that one detective? I'm going for three. Oh, boy. <laughs> uh, I'll, I'll ask you about a movie, see if you've seen it later. All right. Oh, boy. Challenge Tom accepted. Tom Hanks was in it. <laughs> uh, but anywho, upon arriving, we see Spitfire doing the thing she loves to do, which is yell at new recruits and making them shake in their boots. Have you noticed that this pair of recruits have... Mad skills or have guts to stand up to, no, not really stand up, but not to be afraid at Spitfire's, um, talking. Well, they all seem, they all seem at rigid attention. It's only when she says that one pony's wings fell off. Uh, yeah. I, I do like that line. Uh, will you fly so much your wings will, will fly, fall off? Pauses for m- memory. That only happened once. <laughs> Uh, and I just like how, um, somebody just says, Oh, you don't think Rainbow Dash is the pony whose wings fell off, do you? <laughs> it's like, wow, alright. <laughs> okay then! Uh, but still, that was fun. And here is the first introduction of Angel, who now? Um, Angel Wings. Uh, yes. Yes, Angel Wings. So, yay, that's cool. We, we get to see, Angel Wing talk here, and yeah, th- th- this is so cool of them. And I listened to the voice, and Lexi here did a really good job. She did, but when she chose the name, I'm guessing she doesn't play a lot of video games, because Angel Wings is a very powerful attack. They're just like, I know what it's supposed to be, but all I'm thinking of is Angel Wings destroying a huge monster. What? But still, Lexi here did a good job, so yay! Awesome. This is the second... Uh, make a wish, um, foundation thing that pop well, up in MLP. Like a third. I know there's another OC that came into the show. Oh, really? I'm not sure if it was from Make a Wish Foundation, but actually it was in the, uh, the first Wonder Pulled episode. It was like, it was ah, a black you're talking about double. that black OC. No, 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 that's, that's not, uh, Make a Wish. That is, how, how do I even put this one? 
yo, I have a uncle who works at DHX and he could put my OC in the show. And that's the situation right now. <laughs> that's what, that's how we have that black OC. Okay uh, then. Yeah, viva nepotism. <laughs> yep. So Eddie, hey, Twilight here goes to Spitfire asking, hey, um, have you seen any pony here that has friendship problems? And Spitfire says that my job here is to make this really, uh, to make them good flyers. It's not my job to keep an eye on their relationship. With them being confused and don't know what to do, they have the bright idea of, hey, you know what? We can teach this pony to fly better because Spitfire and Rainbow Dash notice their flying tactics are not that good. So Twilight Sparkle will teach a class on how to fly while Rainbow Dash do the practical stuff. So yay, that's awesome. Yay! Although I wonder if Spitfire feels the Princess of Friendship just came in and commandeered her class. And I was looking forward to blowing my whistle at them. <laughs> uh, but you know, honestly, I don't think she enjoys the teaching part of that one. Although I, I enjoy seeing Adorable Twilight return. She's been very subdued for a while. She's been yes. suppressed. Suppressed and denied. Yeah, but still, I, I do like the face. Like, Adorable Twilight, uh, can't wait to teach her lesson. And a gun who rainbow dash her, like, oh, like, I'll keep them awake with my blow horn or my um rap song horn, whatever it is. Like, yeah, I'll keep them up with air that. Air horn. Yeah, yeah, air horn. Yay. Can't even stay awake yourself, though. Yep. Yeah, we get to class. We are introduced to the delinquent of the class, uh, Sky Stinger, and her partner, Vapor Trails. Uh, Yay. I, I, her... I think you mean his partner. Yeah, his partner. Sorry, I, my bad. I've, I've already got the two mixed up. I won't let you go down the same road, Norman. I am Next. the only one who hasn't been confused. So anywho, um, we're introduced to Sky, who is a really arrogant pony. He's full of himself. He, he thinks highly of himself. And he, why not? He's the greatest flyer, able to do an upward descent, uh, a 500 meter upward descent under two seconds, was it? Or five seconds? Like, yeah, so he's pretty good. He's pretty impressive at the same time. What was the thing? Uh, 500 feet in two seconds. Yeah. So that's really cool. Even in Rainbow Dash, she's impressed. By that point, we already know who's the problem child and, uh, they're, uh, they're going to be our main focus. I, I love how you describe it as being the problem child. <laughs> Sorry. That's why my brain went to. You don't like it? You want me to change it? No. I, I'm just Sorry. saying, like, I love how it just went, like, <laughs> This is our problem, child. Like, okay. <laughs> uh, our men, you're so but, mean. <laughs> I'm not. But anywho, uh, Rainbow Dash sleeps in class, Twilight wake her up. Class starts and cut to the end of class. So, from this point on, Rainbow Dash and Twilight here are wondering, mm, who could be the ponies that has the friendship problem? Comes along, Sky. He's worried about Vapor because... She's not a very good flyer in the solo test that will be happening. And from that point on, they say, you know what? Uh, we have uh, freestyle. Why don't you two uh, show us what you can do? Oh, from freestyle that point time. On, wicked, wicked, wicked. Uh, I'm not good at freestyling. Uh, but, but anywho, we are, we are shown that Sky and Vapor here are really good flyers. They're a really good duo. Um, even Twilight sees like, oh wow, this is just awesome. And Rainbow Dash noticed that, hey, uh, did you see that? Like, Vapor just helped Sky with his tricks, like giving a boost here and there, like, huh. And from that point on, um, Twilight notices and yeah, this is the friendship problem that we are meant to help. Yay. Huzzah. Yay. And then they, they say either A, help them by telling them or help them without telling them. Yes, and this is one of those things where both things can work and not. I just sort of like the dun 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 moment. Yeah, before cut to the next scene. But I want to stick on this point for a bit. Like, how would you help them, Silver, if you're in this position? Mm. Honestly, I feel like you you have to you do have to bring it to their attention, but. While Vapor Trail can work with it because she's the instigator, 
Sky Stinger really is, uh, well, he's emotionally delicate. Usually people who mm. talk the loudest are the most fragile. It's a, I don't know, defense mechanism. So that's a hard call. How do you, you gotta tell him. You can't ignore this yeah. problem and wait for it to go away. Sooner or later, he's gonna find out, and yeah, it's gonna, it's gonna hurt his confidence. Yeah, and this is the part where uh, Rainbow and Twilight are both correct and wrong at the same time. But before I continue on, um, Seppi, what do you have to say about this? I I probably would try to tell them subtly, or at least like try to help. I I don't know how I would handle it. I mean, yeah, you could keep the secrets, but at the same time, you probably should tell him like sooner or later. I. I think the problem is, like, the timing. Like, yeah, like I, like the, was said before, this has been, like, years and years of hidden secrets. Well, I probably would say something, oh, I don't know, after you became a Wonderbolt, maybe? That, that probably wouldn't help either. Yeah, but the problem is, with this current situation, they, well, both of them need to do or participate in the solo trials. So with Vapor not being able to do his stunt and... Her. Sorry. Actually, um, with no, Sky you're not talking being, about Sky Stinger. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, with Sky not being able to do his stunt while Vapor couldn't do her, um, well, the basics, like, they won't be able to get into the Wonder Balls just because of their current, um, what you might call this, um, current Claws. self or current situation. Yes. And as for me, I don't know. This is one of those situations where how do you even fix this problem? Because by telling them only Vapor is the one will, that will learn a lesson while Sky here will get his confidence crush. If you don't tell them, Sky is just going to be gun ho full of himself and not uh, heed other people's lesson or advice, which is shown in the show. So it's one of those situations where how do you even, you tell Sky his confidence will be crushed. You don't tell Sky, he'll be wondering what happened and what happened to his mad skills. So this is a very touchy subject or very delicate subject to kind of tackle. So I do like how the show does it. It's really cool. So anyway, we carry on with them discussing how should we do this. <laughs> so they decide to go on the tactic of, you know what, I'll take Vapor and Twilight, you take Sky. We'll see how it goes. And by doing so, they learn the basic essential of, okay, this is your full potential. This is what you can do and this is what you cannot do. I'm just skipping ahead here. So before that, we get the full story of how this all happens. Sky comes from a full family of many ponies, uh, many siblings, and he doesn't get the full attention, while Vapor here is a only child and she gets all the attention. I guess them wanting something they can't get and trading is beneficial for both. So yay, it works. Also, it's curious that Vapor's family lives in the clouds while Sky's... Is the ground cheaper? Because of Sky's dad. Because Sky's dad is a earth pony, while... His mom is in Pegasi. Uh, I, no, I think they're all Pegasi. No, no, no. Um, double check. Uh, his dad is a big, gruff, um, earth pony. No, he's, I'm, I'm looking at him, dude. I, I'm seeing a Pegasus. I'd see it even better if Safari would load the screenshot faster. Oh, yes, there we go. My are. bad. Sorry. My yes. bad. I, I thought it was an earth pony. Well, oh, okay. I'd like that idea. I like the idea of Earth ponies and Pegasi, or Pegasi and unicorns, or unicorns and Earth ponies. I like the idea of three tribes intermingled, but in this case, it seems everybody's a Pegasi. You get a pair of wings, and you get a pair of wings, and you get a pair of wings, and Princess Twilight, you already have a pair of wings. Stop being greedy. Thank you, Amy Larson. I just find it funny that one family is living in the clouds, and they're small and uh, a little overbearing. And the family that is just loaded to the gills is on the ground. I just wonder, is it cheaper? It it probably, probably. is because clouds can be expensive. I guess they are. Yeah. They are said to be nice and fluffy. So now I'm trying to think of a cloud realtor. Oh yeah, this one's got great moisture retention. Uh, you'll know you'll never drip. You'll never drift above the stratosphere. That's always helpful. 
<laughs> Please don't mind the blood stain. That'll wash out. Yeah, give it time. Give it time. <laughs> uh, but still, but still. Um, after that brief explanation, we now know the situation and we get to the training montage. Twilight Sparkle gets Sky Stinger and Rainbow Dash gets Vapor Trails. Uh, each has their own positive and negatives and well, Twilight here just wants to teach Sky here the basic of flying and coming from a pony who just learned how to fly, I think she's the best candidate for this. And Rainbow Dash here is teaching Vapor to do tricks and whatnot. And yeah, she's getting the hang of it. And as we continue on, we get to see the reveal. Huzzah. And before you head to the reveal, uh, anything you want to mention about the training montage? You need a montage. 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 Everybody needs a montage. Montage. <laughs> I said, I do find it funny that when they're doing cloud sculptures, which, hey, you might just be rent, ripping apart someone's home, or oomph, uh, <laughs> I, I do find it both adorable and a little stalkerish that Vapor Trail draws Sky Stinger's face. Well, so, they're kind of an OTP, so why not, right? I've only heard this through the grapevine, so I don't know how accurate it is, but right. word, word on the street is that at one point, <laughs> Vapor Trail was going to call him her boyfriend. But they changed it to ah. just friend in the final cut. Ah. You know, I do like that even better because it brings up development. Like, if they were a couple, their fight would be much more meaner in scope. Like, they're fighting and, like, how long have you been together? But just because of this, you're fighting? Oh, no. Yeah, but because of friend, it has deeper impact. And... As they go on, they can be, well, a married couple. Yay. That's what I think. Super fighting couples. <laughs> I guess I know. Do, 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 do. Super fighting couples. Do, 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 do. Pegasus. Oh, well, what was that originally from, Silver? Mega Man. The, a very uh, bad cartoon. Saturday morning uh, cartoon. All right. I remember that one. Yeah, okay, okay. Game, apparently. I don't know. I've true, never true. played it. One well, to six was fun. Oh, Ma- Mega Man, the games are great. But the cartoon, oh, we could do a retrospective on that. Oh, yeah. But anywho, uh, continuing on, Sky comes to Rainbow saying, I want to trade places because I'm bored of learning practical lessons. I'm already good at it. Yo, look at my score. All zeros. And Vapor nudging Sky here to say, you know what, you should brush up on your fundamentals. Like, it's really good. Like, as she goes on, Sky keeps saying how good he is and blah, 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 to the point where she snaps and says, I've been helping you all this time. You should really learn your fundamentals. To prove her wrong, Sky tries to do a loop-de-loop and fails. Yes. And with that, he felt hurt and runs off. And yet he had no, he had no trouble gaining altitude as he left in a huff. Your rage has made you powerful. Feed me your anger. <laughs> Yes, and Vapor here is kind of hurt because his friend kind of shouted at her and, yeah, went away. So now, the next day, I hope this is the next day because if it's a few hours later, do we? Um, anywho, a few, uh, the next day, we are seeing them doing the whirly twirl challenge where you're strapped onto a big device where it spins you around and flings you off. Yeah, the Dizzytron. Yay. I hear it's all the rage at Disney World. You know, if they could somehow get the liability waivers going, it probably would be. <laughs> yes, it's all the rage. Not re- not responsible if you go kersplat on landing. <laughs> yes. But anywho, Twilight and Rainbow Dash wonder if they're still mad at each other. And the answer is yes. They are, they are. After failing and whatnot, Spitfire goes up to Rainbow saying, What did you do? Why is my best flyer floating like a balloon with a hole in it? Whatever you do, you need to fix it. And yeah, Twilight Sparkle have a plan. And that plan is to confront them to each other to talk things out. Yes, deception is friendship. Wait, what? My little pony. (laughs) 
so yeah, and yeah, th- this is one of those things where, yeah, they they needed this because if they're salty with each other, that means that they're not gonna learn. So from that point on, uh, their training regiment is for Sky to do his uh, basic essentials while Vapor cheers him on, and for Sky to give pointers and tips to Vapor to do tricks. So yay, working together, solving the problem. Yay. Well, that's, that's what I really like, that just because he was arrogant and had his, his ego burst, it doesn't mean that Sky doesn't have something to contribute. A lot of shows, mm-hmm. I think, would have just made him completely buffoonish. You sure? Yeah. Yes. This one, this one shows, yeah, he had faults, but he still has talent. Yeah, he has the skills to do it, but the problem is he doesn't have the basic down like he doesn't really know how to do things properly or correctly it's how they put this it's like an artist doing work but he has bad habits uh, as time goes on he developed those bad habits into his working regiment if somebody points it out said artist couldn't kick the bad habit because it's part of his work ethics Am I am I right or no? Yes, I'm very much in agreement. My, my silence is a very pleased one. Yes, this oh, is right. my pleased silence. Except it's not very silent. I think I need oh, to come okay. up with a new name. Yes. <laughs> so, anywho. Being pleased? Uh, Just pleased? This is me being pleased. Yes, I have to <laughs> enunciate because I'm on a podcast. Oh, wow. So, anywho. Uh, with them uh, having a big, huge success... They go on to the training or the tryouts. Sky has a really good trial and Vapor also does a good trial too. And both of them rooting for each other. And at the end, they have a show-off, a stand-off, I, I don't know. But they fly at the same time and land in well, land at the same time too. And the way that the camera works here is really fun and good. Like I do like how they meet in front of each other for that ending. It's a sweet. It's so cute. Puppy. Yes. And with that, it's time for Supershire to give her verdict. And they both make the Academy. Yay. Yay. Ooh. But you Yay. notice that they both have gold badges, which oh, if, yeah. if we're going with, with Wonderbolt Academy, that means they're both team leads and they're going to be assigned different wing ponies. Yeah, you're, you're right. Both of them got gold pins or badges. So what Silver said could be correct. And, well, uh, Vapor and Sky here give a hugging tackle and they cuddle in public. Yay. Oh, oh Yay yeah. For public shipping. Oh, great. If I ever get to put the video, I'll just put some slow music. <laughs> <laughs> yes. But did you, um, Spitfire thanks Rainbow Dash and Twilight Sparkle for doing a great job. Whatever she did, to them, it really works. They are the best flyers in the academy, blah, blah, blah. Even having the potential of surpassing Rainbow Dash. Yay. Except for Rainbow's like, no! Oh, that'd be great. Rainbow Dash has to one day be in the same position as Wind Rider. <laughs> Seeing her record broken. But in actuality, if she's in that position, if the record gets broke, you know she's going to break it again. Like, she's not going to sabotage. Rainbow Dash sure has an ego, but her ego won't allow her to cheat. She will just break it harder. Like, she'll train harder, she'll be harder, she'll be like Rocky Balboa before that new Balboa movie comes out. Just to prove a point. I don't know, I kind of like the idea of a story where Rainbow has to accept that the new generation is taking over. Obviously, she'd be a much older Dashie. But Mm -hmm. it'd be fun to see her set aside her ego and coach the next one, actually help them break her record. Yeah, like that Balboa movie. That one I haven't seen Balboa yet. I thought, or is it Apollo? I think it's Apollo, like Kerber Lang, like his kid. I'm surprised. Uh, I'm surprised Apollo even knew what the train was. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> did you did you just say the law? I I am. Oh, but anywho, uh, before we end off this episode, Angel Wing goes up to. Uh, Sky and Vapor saying that, hey, um, I just wanted you to know you two are my new favorite ponies on all Equestria. And yeah, Rainbow, Rainbow got salty about that, like, and she flew off. And 
Vapor and Sky here can't believe they did it and did that very very quotable line from Top Gun you can be my wing pony anytime <laughs> and oh you can be mine plus <laughs> Top Gun the yeah. homo right all the homo uh, I prefer I prefer the hot shots though what is, what is a chafing dish Oh god, no. Uh, but anyhow, with that mission accomplished, uh, the cutie mark glows and, well, they head home. Rainbow Dash being excited to catch up with everything. Reading Daring Do, making cider with Applejack, just having sleepover parties with Pinkie Pie. Suddenly a knock on the door. I don't know that pony's name come along and says that... That's Misty Dash. Fly. Ah, Misty Fly. So Misty Fly comes along saying to Dash... Emergency, Wonderbolt, HQ, now. There's a monster attacking. Yeah. It's already eaten two cadets, Vapor Trail and Misty Fly. <laughs> no. And the shipping dies. <laughs> no. So long, uh, farewell, I'll be the send goodbye. Oh, uh, no. <laughs> but anywho, yeah, with that, Rainbow Dash just collapsed on the ground while Misty Fly and Twilight Sparkle laugh. Yes. We broke her spirit. It's fun. Hey, Missy, didn't you just say there was an emergency? Do you have time to giggle? <laughs> yes. Apparently. Uh, but anywho, that is the end of the episode. So, yeah, pretty entertaining episode. This is a really good one. Let's go to final thoughts. And, Seppi, what do you think? I still think it's a good episode. I mean, it's one of those episodes that makes me... It, it feels somewhat nostalgic in a sense that it feels like a earlier season... Like, it doesn't feel like the show is getting old, if that makes sense. It, it brought back, like, those same nostalgic feelings of, like, enjoying the show for the first time for me. Mm. Yeah, with the lesson that they're trying to do. That's good, that's good. And Silver, what about you, man? Oh, this is thoroughly enjoyable. I, in some ways, it can feel like the older stuff, except now the main six are, have, have moved past where they're learning lessons about friendship. Now they're helping others. And I think that's the natural growth for the show. You, you, you have to invest a little more in second-tier characters, which they do. Out of all the guest star ponies we've had, these two have one of the most developed backstories and motives, which uh, makes them makes you really care that they get together as a team, you know, as friends. Wink, wink. Nudge, nudge. It's a really well-done piece. It's a lot of fun. I forgot to mention, I saw this on a Monday... Uh, thanks to the early airing in the United Kingdom. Oh, that one. So, yeah, I caught this after the season finale, which perhaps is why I'm a little less, my jimmies are less rustled about the finale, because I still had one main six focus, or at least two of the main six, uh, focus episode waiting. It didn't end with just Starlight. And as for me, this episode was a fun Size of Life episode where your heroes are there to solve a problem. And said problem is not an easy one to solve. It has a lot of challenges in solving it. And the solution to the problem is smart, yet uh, a bit speedy in its resolution, but it's MLP. It's come with the territory, so yeah. So, anywho, um, next week's show, what are we going to do, Silver? We are going to bid a fond farewell to an author within the comics. For a time, anyway. Talking about the final issue written by Katie Cook of the Friends Forever mainline. Yeah, and that is issue 42. This is an issue that I highly enjoy. Art references. Yep, art references and the content is just insane. This is one of those enjoyable books. And it's a fond farewell to a really awesome writer, Katie Cook. In which, upon reading this now, it's kind of null and void because she's coming back. <laughs> Just for a little bit. To, well, we'll talk about that when when the time comes. But look yes, forward indeed. to it. It's good times. And with that, we'll say our goodbyes. I have been Norman Senzo. I am the Silver Quill. I am Cuddle Socks. Yay! And we'll guys see you next week with another amazing and fun episode of the MBS Show. See ya! Adios. Bye bye. <laughs> 
So, Vapor, who who thought of vaping at the time of this? Hmm? No? Hmm? Eh, eh, I, I, I don't have your 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 reef for madness. Yeah, silver high being silver. Norman's? That's not a word! No, I'm not! Then stop offering us marijuana! <laughs> marriage? <Okay. laughs> oh, shoot. Uh, You're offering us marriage a wa- to Juana? I haven't even met Juana. <laughs> Moana, Moana, Moana. Oh no, don't, don't, don't let Spicer see her. Uh oh, here comes Moana!